So here's a short video on how to load 35mm black and white film into the cameras we'll be using in the beginning. It's ISO 400 and it's a 24 exposure roll made by a company called Arista. So we're going to take it out of the box and inside you're going to see a tiny plastic container. You just pop the top off of it and inside you're going to find the film cartridge. There it is. Once again ISO 400, 24 exposure with a tiny bit of film hanging out of the canister. That little bit of film, it's kind of narrow at the beginning. It's called a leader, and that's because it actually leads the film across the back of the camera inside so that you can advance it. That's the emulsion side where the silver is. The other side is just a plastic side. This is a plastic polyester. We're going to go ahead and pull it out so we've got a place to start. Here's your camera. You're going to go to the rewind knob, you're going to pull it up, and you're going to keep pulling until the back pops open, kind of like that. You open it up. On the left side is where the film will go, in the center is the shutter, and on the right side is the advanced uh, take-up area where the cogs and the slots are for the film. So we're going to put the film in to the left side of the camera, in a little slot, you'll see how it goes, and then we're going to just gently pull the film across, push the knob in there so the canister doesn't try to jump out. Pull it across, take the film and put a little bend in the very beginning of it because what that helps it to do is stay down in the slot as you advance the film. These cameras are notorious for the film popping out, which is the whole reason I made this video. If you look here closely, you're going to notice that the film's kind of bowed up. I'm going to rewind it the other way to pull the slack out and flatten it down into the camera. There you go. And let's look closely. There you go. Film pushed in, pushing in as far as it will go to make sure it hangs on. Now we can see the film advance around and that tells us it's ready to go. Close the back of the camera, snap it, wind this back to take a little bit of the slack out of the film. We're going to press the shutter release. We're going to wind it once and we're going to watch the wheel turn which tells us that the film's coming out of the canister. There you go. We're going to do it two more times because the film in the back that was exposed to light is going to be black anyway. Do it one last time. There it goes. And the reason we do this with older cameras is because the number counter on the right side of the camera will continue to advance even if the film itself isn't. So this is a great way to know that your film is truly advancing in the camera. 